Now, wasn't that worth the wait? Yes! <laughs> Fair fire, your honest, salty fish. Great chiefs that have the pudding race. Upon them all, you'll take your place. Punch, tripe, or thorn. Well, ah, you're worthy of a grace, as long as my arm. The groaning trencher there you fill. Your herd is like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need. While through your pores, the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labor dict. He cut you up with really slicked. <laughs> Trenching your gushing entrails bricked. <laughs> like only ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. War. Reeking. Rich. And, horn for horn they stretch and strive. They'll take the hindmost, on they drive. To their well swelled kites belied, or bet like brothers. Then all gold men most like to arrive. Be thanked, Thomas. Is there over his French ragout, or oleo would stow a sou, or fricassee would make her stew with perfect sconner, look down with sneering, scornful view on suck a dinner? Poor fellow. See him over his trash, as feckless as a withered rash. Spindle shank, a good whip lash. His neave, a knit. <laughs> Through bloody flood or field to dash, oh, how unfit. But mark the rustic haggis fed. Wait, hey. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the trembling earth resounds his dread. <laughs> Clap it his wally neva blade and he'll make it whistle. <laughs> <Nice. Hey. laughs> Arms and legs and heads will snap. Oh like tops of thistles. <laughs> Your powers that make mankind your care and give them up the bill of fare. Scotland wants no skinking wear that jops in luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, give her a haggis. To the haggis. Yeah. Haggis! <laughs> now we've got 10 pounds of this. So <laughs> Let's just say it doesn't keep well in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>